Hey there guys, my name is Marcus and in this video I want to present you the best password managers on the market. First, I want to say that I'm not paid by any of these tools that I'm going to present to you to say one is better comparing to the other and you should use that one or that one. I'm just going to give you my honest review. Now, there are going to be three parts of the video. The first part are going to be pricing plans. I'm going to compare every single pricing plan. Free version, if they offer free trial, premium family version. Then I'm going to show you how it actually feels to use every single password manager and which I, I recommend for you to use. And then the third one that no one is comparing are extensions, like how it actually feels to use those extensions, which I recommend, which got the best reviews and also the best like five stars. And we are going to talk about that and I will give you information to every single one of these tools that if you should actually use them. So let's just start. I'm so excited for this video. Now, first let's start with the last pass. Last pass is being here for a really long time and I have two problems with last pass and I'm going to be really kind of not negative. I'm going to give constructive criticism to every single or like positive uh, like review of every single tool that I'm going to show you. LastPass got breaches in the past. So it's, yes, it's secure as any other, but they got breaches. And this is something that you should think about. The next thing is that I will get to the design, but yes, LastPass offer you a free account, but from year per year, they were increasing prices. And it was like, in the past, it was like $12 per year. Then it was 24 and now it's even more. So now it's like $22.90 uh, per month. It's like $3.50. But yes, you got one gigabyte encrypted file storage. Amazing. That's like really good. So $3.50 a month, for, but you need to pay a year. Yes, thumbs up. They offer you a free account and you can access on all of your devices. So this is huge. So premium, $3.50. That's all right price. Now let's go to the Keeper. Keeper is expensive yes they offer your also 2.99 per month there's like 35 bucks so it's like a little bit cheaper comparing to the last pass but keeper got max bundle where you got like bridge watch dark mon web monitoring keeper chat private messenger secure file storage which should be like the full version of last pass premium and that's cost six dollars so that's kind of pricey and then you get the family version, which is comparing to the uh, others really, really expensive. So, and I don't really see the huge advantage comparing to the others when I analyzed it, like the security is the same and the design is not that tremendous, like, damn, I need to use that comparing to the others. So right now we got LastPass like here, Keeper is under it. Let's go to Bitwarden. Bitwarden choose completely different strategy comparing to the others. Bitwarden went with a strategy that, okay, we are going to give it for cheap and you are going to get tremendous quality. And it worked really well. They got basic free account for $0 a month. Uh, you got unlimited wall items. You can sync it with all your devices. It's open source. If you want to, you got 2FA there too. Then you get like premium account, which is $10 a year. But the thing is, you don't actually need it. Many people who are using Bitwarden are buying the premium account just for the support for the creators, for the developers. And you get also one gigabyte encrypted file storage. So that's amazing. And then I'm going to show you the app, how it works. You are going to be blown away. So Bitwarden is right now winning. So we got Bitwarden, you got Keeper, oh my, one here. You got LastPass and then you got like Keeper here. Then let's go to the dash lane. The dash lane offers you free account, but you got only one device. And it's like comparing to Bitwarden or even LastPass, they are losing on a this way. And then you got 399 unlimited passwords, unlimited devices, dark web monitoring. All right. But there is advantage that it's monthly billing, but still in my eyes, it's not uh, that good as a Bitwarden because you would pay like $10 a year and you would pay this here in like two months, three months. If you would go with monthly or even when you go annual billing, it's similar to Keeper Security and LastPass, but still, okay, let's go. Here is Bitwarden, here is Dashlane, here is Ke uh, LastPass and under it is Keeper Security only because Dashlane is winning uh, comparing to the Keeper and comparing to the LastPass only because it offers you monthly billing. 
So, okay, we will leave it that. Now, the next thing is a 1Password. One 1Password one offers you only 14 day free trial, but then it's three bucks a month, but you need to pay it annually. Again, it's really similar price for the premium version, uh, and you're not going to make actually mistake if you choose one password. And I like one password. The design, in my opinion, when I will show you, is one of the best on the market. Now, one password, three dollars, comparing to three fifty, comparing to the six, comparing to the one, comparing to even three forty three, is winning to the others. So here is Bitwarden. Here is one password. Then we got the dash lane. Then we got the last pass, and then we got the keeper. Now the last one is NordPass. NordPass got free uh, account, but again, only one active device, device, and then you got two nine two twelve per month. That's like two fifty dollars, and it's okay-ish. So I would even get it uh, on the same level as one password too. So to say this and write it up first. The Bitwarden is winning on pricing. Then we got a one password with NordPass. Then we got a dash lane. Then we got a last pass. And then we got keeper. So this is how would I knew like define define it on what based on pricing plans. And it's really similar for also for the family, like really similar like this. Now, to go further, how it actually feels to use all of these tools. Uh, LastPass got a design from 2008. I wouldn't personally use it because it looks like, like communism. I don't know how else to describe it. And I was born in communism. Uh, you would click add item here. You can add more items, password, etc. When I click password here, I can add URL, name, folder, username, site password. OK. It looks okay. Then you get like notes here, addresses, payment cards. When I would click on all the items and click plus here, I can add like server here and add it. But let's compare it to one password. I will just log in here. One password got also one advantage comparing to the other that it offers you the secret key. So when you would get breached, the secret key is going to save you. Of course, this is like my testing account. Uh, so I can show you the secret key. I would just add here the master password. I would print it out. And if something would be breached, I can use it. Now, on the other hand, also one password uh, offers you travel mode. So when someone is would like want to give you stuff on an airport, you could be in check-in or something, and you can just lock everything out and they wouldn't get to your password. So that's really good. Now let's compare, let's just compare with me guys. Last pass or how it feels to actually use versus one password. You got watchtower where you can like compromise websites, reused passwords, weak passwords. Then you're gonna have like logins here and you would click plus here and you have option to use credit card, identity, password, document, bank account, driver license, email account, outdoor license, wireless router, everything. And it feels good to use one password. When I click wireless, Title, I can see it right here and I can edit it here. When I click plus here, I need to go down with Wi-Fi password and it looks worse from the design standpoint and how it actually feels. Again, with login, I will cancel this. With the login, it's simple. When you would click plus here and add another login, you can also generate the password. Really just simple things. And in my opinion, the, when I'm going to show you every single uh, password manager, the last best is the most ugliest one. And that's my opinion. Maybe you will like it. Let's go further. One password is pretty. So right now, when we would uh, name it and we would write it to our notepad that I prepared. So design would be last place five or like six is going to be last pass. Then let's go further to keeper keeper. When I mentioned that it's like kind of expensive, and it is, got my wallet, identity and payments, security wallet, breach watch, like about if it's secured. You simply click here, create new, record, yes, and you just add here title, email, username, website address, right? Pretty simple, pretty easy. Create new, you can also like add a payment card, but it's really limited. Like for the price that you're going to pay in Keeper, you should expect more, I think. So this is Keeper and how it actually feels to use it. Now it's okay-ish 
comparing to one password, it's still not winning. So two going one password and keeper will be maybe five, but still it, this is hard to design because it's really subjective which one you like and which you're not going to like. The next one is a dash lane. Dash lane is on the same level as one password, but not that high only because you have also limited what you can actually add to dash lane. In one password is really huge because you can add like with a bank account, with a wireless number server that you can like add multiple things if you need it to. And dash lane, you got passwords, secure notes, personal information and payments. When you want to go here and passwords, click add new and you can add a URL here, add a login, add a password, add a name. And I have here like Facebook. So dash lane, like looks good too. It doesn't look bad to use it in my eyes. Now you get personal information here and payments. Okay. And now to go even further to the North Pass. North Pass, as I mentioned, uh, is also, it looks good and it feels to use good. So North Pass, when I open it, I have all items. I have passwords, secure notes, credit cards, personal info, shared items. I can go with a password, click here and just edit it or just simply add item, click password and just add your website address and everything. So again, using NordPass is good. There's nothing wrong with it, but it's in my eyes, it's much prettier comparing to the, mm, to the last pass and to the keeper. And one password and dash lane and NordPass are on the same level. Also, Bitwarden, when I'm going to present you how it feels to use, is also really simple to use. So I would put Bitwarden, and I will, I will just write it after I show you Bitwarden. Bitwarden, again, with a login, with a card, with an identity, with a secure note. They all feel good to use. So I just click here, click plus, login, name, username, password, and everything, and I'm good to go. So, yeah. And but one password is winning because you can add multiple things. So to say how it actually feels to use those, is it on first place can be one password in my eyes. Then on the second place, I would add dash lane with North Pass with uh, how it's called Bitwarden. And the five and the six, like the third and the four, would be keeper and last pass. So this is the design I see. And I think that are like which are the best or which aren't the best. And now let's go talk about the last things, which are the extensions. So Dashlane uh, got the most problems with reviews and also uh, plenty of people are saying that they have problems. They lost a lot of passwords and sometimes it just didn't work great. So be careful about using Dashlane because you can like have problems with passwords. You can see it right here how many people are giving like bad reviews for. It's already been like a year and a half. Now, on the other hand, one password is also getting a lot of negative reviews, but it's also because I tested it out by myself. So I, I gave, gave one password the benefit of the doubt. And okay, one password. Mm. Plenty of people are saying that they have a problem with extension. I'm going to install it. I'm going to test it for a few days if it's true. And it's true. Sometimes it just didn't lock me into the Facebook, into the like Twitter, etc. When I tried it out, it just didn't work. I had to remove it, log in again, remove it, install it, like like literally just three, four times to actually work it again. And I didn't want to. Uh, like pay for something that doesn't work. So be careful also about using one password and you can see it also the reviews. The next one is a NordPass. NordPass is better. But again, sometimes it doesn't work too, but it's all right. -ish. It's got like nearly four stars. The next one is a LastPass. LastPass is working well. It's working well uh, with extension. I tested out. It was doing well. 4.5 stars. Looking good. So when you're going to choose LastPass, you're not going to make a mistake. But based on the pricing that I showed you and the design, you shouldn't choose LastPass in my eyes. Then the next one is a Keeper. Keeper is doing amazing. But again, you're going to pay more money for Keeper. And you're going to pay, like, the design is not 
so huge comparing to the other in my eyes. So keeper, all right is, but okay. And Bitwarden is a top notch. Bitwarden works tremendously. It worked really great. And I think that Bitwarden is winning here. So when I showed you again, the extension, and this is same with applications. You can also test that by yourself, but Bitwarden is really easy to use. I made also tutorials how to use Bitwarden on mobile and how to use one pass for another. And on mobile, most of them work great. So first is going to be Bitwarden. The second one is going to be Keeper. The third one is going to be LastPass. The fourth one is going to be NordPass. One password and Dashlane. So to summarize this whole video, guys, uh, you should definitely go with the Bitwarden. When we talk about the pricing, it's winning. Uh, then the second is one password. And when we talk about the design, one password is top notch, in my opinion. Then you get a Dashlane, NordPass, or Bitwarden. And extensions. So again, Bitwarden is winning. So NordPass, Bitwarden, and one password are great. Be careful about one password and using it. Uh, if you want to mm, like use the extension and sometimes it's not going to work, you just have to like work with that. And then I wouldn't go with a keeper. I wouldn't go with the last pass and dash line. I would ditch it only because uh, the extension and that sometimes it can remove your passwords from the safety perspective. They're all safe. And like one password got good like customer support. Bitwarden got really good community on Reddit that can help you with everything. And that's pretty much it. So thank you very much everybody for watching. If you have any questions, guys, ask me down in the comments. I'll really happy to help you. And let me down below which one you're going to choose, which one you're going to use. I'm really happy to hear that. So thank you very much. Have a great day, guys, and goodbye.